Coming up next, it's a UFC bantamweight division fight. strikers in this division sprawl and brawl whatever you want to say he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight it does not matter how he accomplishes it all he wants to do is be on his feet and at range hitting you with the beautiful jab staying away from the grappling exchanges you don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks, spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight fight. Three years apart, with the same height and some differences in reach. Here once more Ladies is and Bruce Buffer. This is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 131 pounds. Fighting at a Caracal, Venezuela, awesome. And now we're producing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting at Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee. You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves. Let's make it official. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of this fight. I'm anxious, man. What a matchup it is, and it's going to be interesting. And it's going to be interesting to see who has the upper hand there. It's going to be difficult to find out how this plays out, right? Striker versus well-rounded fighter. Who's going to be the one that's going to control where this fight takes place? Dig and kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Just missed with the elbow there. Ooh, head kick landed. It's hurt. Ooh, what a punch. Went inside on that leg kick, threw the jab left hook and went inside. Usually, you, you know, you see guys throw the outside kick there. That was nice. Oh, beautiful counter with the jab. It's such a fast leg kick. And he landed the right hand there. Nice straight punch. Body shots. 
shot there. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, big head kick. Connects with a right hand, pretty good punch that one. Nice right punch by this young man. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Well, he continues to offer up the kick here, but just misses with that one. Head kick there, blocked by Lee. Oh, wicked nice leg kick there, DC. Can't take too many of those. Five seeds to the body. Three minutes to go in the round. And there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Here he is back in the clutch. Just out of range with the straight left hand. Beautiful kick. Back to the well with that right hand. It's no good. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Lee gets absolutely pelted by that head kick. Here it's no good. Able to check the high kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Nice. Real quick leg kick. What a punch. Thirty seconds now to go in the round. Oh, nice connection by him there with the right hand. The right hand is the dominant hand, and you can see how well he throws it. Can't take many of those. You better check. And that one certainly found the target. Look at him drive his shin into the opponent's body with that body. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Daniel, take us through it, if you will. Tit for tat. Who has the best chin? It seemed as though they were looking for that answer. Both guys took risk. What a fantastic round. DC second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. When you have two very talented fighters, sometimes it's very even. That's what we saw. Good one. I mean, he's cutting down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. All right, well, he's landed some good shots tonight, but there's no three-piece, there's no soda. More often than not, it's one and done. He's not even getting a combination. I mean, <laughs> if you're going to sit there at the drive-thru, <laughs> order a combination, take the soda with your food, give him the right hand behind the jab, give him the hook behind the right hand. 
jab, right hand, hook. That's two pieces of chicken and a biscuit. Finish him off with the uppercut. That is your soda. I mean, come on, man. Let this guy have the whole thing. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. And he caught the kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Lee gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Man, look at the redness now, almost immediately on the right side of his body. We march on three minutes to go. Big head kick land. Leg, Looping left hand misses the target. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Nice. <laughs> Misses again with a right punch. He's very tricky when he throws that body kick. He has a commitment to picking tonight, and it shows. Almost in range with the straight left, but that's a miss. Big head kick. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Nice punch, Lance. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Nice shot to the body there. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Nice body kick. Just out of range with that right hand. Right hand upstairs. Wow. kick land back to the jab now no good right on the button oh he just continues to pour it on he has been aggressive all night long with his striking got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank so far so good though in this round Two rounds in the books. Oh. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Let this guy know who you are. 
All right, pretty good back and forth action in the previous two rounds. Your expectations here as this next round gets over. I expect the action to really pick up now. These guys have to lay it on the line as we start to approach the end of the fight. And he continues to work the body here. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Going orthodox now. Just a slip there. Very nice outside leg kick by him there, DC. We'll see if he follows it up here. He's really driving his shit into his opponent's thigh, beating his leg up. Good punch land. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Beautiful body to land right under the elbow. Powerful leg kick land. Wind it up on the right there to no avail. Nice kick. Oh, nice right hand, John. Part of himself into these big leg kicks. Able to check that kick as well. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, that's a nice strike. There's no give on that leg kick. Fighters hanging down in the pocket in both landings. Oh, that right hand is on point. That was a thudding leg kick. The next with a right. Nice defense there. Huge block. He is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Try to establish that jab. Lee gets absolutely punished by that head kick. Just unable to quite find that range. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Nice body kick right up the elbow. Hip over when he throws that kick. Big head kick lands. And they separate. You can really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. Great punch landing, so much power. Another shot lands upstairs. Gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. Final seconds of round three. Tried to go to the body, but unable to 
connect. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, next round is underway. You know these are two of the more conditioned fighters on the roster, so cardio is not going to be an issue here. And for some fighters, you know, you can have one of those adrenaline dumps or the cardio abandons you on fight night. Not the case for these two guys. Both look very fresh as we start this next round. Well done to block that powerful kick to the bottom. Nice leg kick. Oh, misses with the jab. And he continues to work the body here. Way to hide that leg kick. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Circling towards the left now. Big body kick. Oh, nice knee of the body. Very nice. He understands that doing the body work pay dividends the longer the fight goes. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Big punch lands through the middle. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. All right, so a good job by him here. He continues to block these shots. Seems to see them coming a mile away. He sees them coming a mile away, and he's blocking. He's rolling. He's slipping. He's doing a great job. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Liver kick. How good is that right hand? You gotta check these low leg kicks. Straight punch lands. Oh, he landed that kick to the outside of the lead leg there, DC. He is chopping up that leg. They say chop down the tree. You beat your opponent by slowing it down first with those nice outside leg kicks. Oh, big head kick there. What a head kick. Not there. Going back to his patented kicks here, but unable to find the target there. Real sneaky body kick. Oh, well, you know about his kicks. They are on point this evening. Oh, big punch land. What a tricky head kick. Big kick land. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. <laughs> Unable to land with that punch. Slips. Back and forth we go. Beautiful leg kick. Oh, 
man, look at the size of that bruising on his body. Oh. Oh, that's a nice straight punch there. Threw the punch, got to the target. Just missed with the straight left hand. Blocks the shot. Oh, big head kick lands. And there's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, here we go as our next round gets underway. His strong leg packs so much power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here. You see, he doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Big body kick lands. Good stick. Nice leg kick lands. As he gets close and he's out of the kicking range, he'll suddenly he'll change his stance. And both guys really throwing with authority. He missed with that jab attempt there. Just out of range with that right hook. Right hook to the body. Leg kick. Just missed with the left there. Nice punch lands over the top. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp tonight. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit and don't get hit. And he does a great job of that. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Lands with the right hand. Three minutes now to go in this one. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if there's more where that came from. Boxing, boxing, boxing. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Just out of range with that left hook. He blocks the punch. That was snuck in. Nice strike. There's no tell on that leg kick. Two minutes and counting to go in this fight. Beautiful body kick. Trying to go to the body here. Unable to find the target. Liver kick. Gonna shut your body off. All right, well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence, and when you're clearly losing and you know you need a finish, risk management goes out the window. Oh, yeah, no more risk management. Either get knocked out or you knock him out. Strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Knee to the body. Much 
much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Lands the right hand. Big punch lands. Ooh. Lee gets absolutely melted by that head kick. 30 seconds now to go in the round. Big leg kick land. That right hand hurt him a little bit. Big power shot there. Nice head kick. All right, so as we await the judges' scorecards, DC will look back at his handiwork. He had it all going from a striking standpoint. Man, he did a great job. It was very entertaining to watch someone be in such a great state of flow, a great flow state in regards to the stand-up. He said that tonight we would be very impressed with his performance, and I am thoroughly impressed. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest, 50-45. The winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! Well, he did not get the finish that he certainly prioritized when we sat down with him in our fighter meeting, but a win is a win. He gets it done by unanimous decision. And he said he wanted a finish, but sometimes your opponent's not willing to play the game. In those instances, all you can do is control what you can control, and that's fight to the best of your ability.